Hey guys, what's up? It's Hannah. Um, we're back with another setup video. This time we're going to be setting up the Eero 7 dual band mesh Wi-Fi 7 system. I'm really excited to get this one set up. If you guys have not watched the unboxing video, you definitely should. Um, and if you have, just as a friendly reminder, I do have three of these to set up in my bungalow. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so let's go ahead and get ready and start getting this set up. So first and foremost, you're going to need two things to get your first router set up and connected to your modem. You're gonna need your internet, ethernet cable, excuse me, ethernet cable, which was provided in the box, as well as one of the three power strip cords that Eero gives you. There's three of them for three routers, um, just your power adapter. So those are the two pieces you're gonna need for this first one, and of course, obviously, the Eero 7. Um, so first and foremost, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your ethernet cable and plug it into your modem. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Super easy on the back, there's only two ports. So just go ahead, plug that in, make sure it's secure. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my modem. Again, apologies, my modem is hooked up right into my floor um, and runs through our crawl space. So I have limited mobility with moving it. <laughs> um, but that's the first step. So once that's all plugged in, the next step is you're gonna take your power cord, again, this guy, and you're gonna plug it into the power source and make sure it's close to your modem. Um, this just kind of helps ensure connectivity, less issues with troubleshooting. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna plug it in right here. And then you're gonna plug it into the back of your router. And it kind of looks like an iPhone charger, the new chargers, for those that are familiar with Apple products, we're gonna go ahead and plug that in, set it down, and it should start blinking white once it makes the connection. And it's that simple. Um, and then you'll go ahead and watch my mobile app setup, which will walk you through step-by-step step getting the Eero 7 actually connected to the internet. So we'll see you over there. So once you go ahead and get your Eero app downloaded on your mobile device and open it, it's gonna make sure that you have all of the components that you need to successfully set up your Eero 7. First things first, you're gonna unplug your old modem and old router from power. Then you're gonna connect your Eero device to your modem using the ethernet cable that did come in the box. It's gonna look for a gateway and you wanna make sure that your Eero turns green. That, that ensures that there is a connection and you're able to move through with setup. It's gonna ask you where your Eero is placed. You're gonna go ahead and give it a Wi-Fi name, choose a Wi-Fi pass password. I always choose Legends Live here. Um, and just because I'm a huge Akatar fan, shout out to Sarah J. Mass. Uh, my passcode was BatBoys3. <laughs> um, once it's set up, it's usually a pretty quick process and it'll tell you that the Eero is up and running. The next thing it's going to want to ask you is if you have additional nodes to set up. How it should work is it's going to recommend where you place your Eero device. Um, you want to make sure it's in a central location. So they go ahead and show you a typical layout of a house, where not to put it, as well as where you could put it. It. Once you figure out where you're placing it, plug it in, it's going to search, it'll find it. And then if it's out of range, it'll let you know. Um, you'll place it again. It'll go green. If it is in range, you tell the app what room it's located in and then it's set up. So overall, if I didn't have to keep exiting out, it, would, it was a simple, easy process. Um, and the user friendliness of the app is definitely a plus. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. I just finished setting up my Eero 7 dual band mesh Wi-Fi 7 router system. Overall, I would give it maybe a four out of 10. It was super inconvenient. The, the initial setup with the initial node that's connected to my modem was no problem. I did a hard reset on my modem before I got my router plugged in. Once I downloaded the app, it was super straightforward, very easy to set up. But then when it prompted me to position my other two nodes throughout my bungalow, it gave me parameters on where I could place them. And so my initial placement for the second one was here in my office right next to my diffuser. Um, and it said that it was out of range, which is very interesting because my house is very small and I can see the router where I'm <laughs> where I'm sitting. So that was a little frustrating. I unplugged it and I moved it into the living room and it's still even being like 10 feet within the initial node, it would not connect and it would not uh, mark as a secure placement for the node. So I had to move it again to a different spot in my living room. Um, still wouldn't connect, so I did a, I exited out of my app and did a hard reset, reopened it, and then added a new 
indoor node component to the initial router um, and that allowed me to connect so I had to do it separately from the initial setup and then the third node that I tried setting up I wanted to put in my reading nook upstairs which is directly up the stairs um, beneath and directly beneath it is the office where the initial node is so I thought that that would be not a problem um, once again Mark me said it was out of range I couldn't set it up there so I was worried that I wouldn't be able to put the third node upstairs because um, if you remember from one of the most recent router reviews I did of the Hydro Pro 6e, download speeds and performance speeds, once you go upstairs, it's like a dead zone. Um, so I was really nervous that I wouldn't be able to get this uh, Eero 7 in upstairs somewhere, but it did eventually connect in my bedroom on my dresser upstairs, which is funny because it's much farther away from the initial setup with the modem um, compared to my reading nook. And I had to do the same thing where I exited out of the app, did a reset, had to reopen it, add an indoor node device rather than do the connection, all three of them all at once. Um, and that did work. So it did work, but it was definitely inconvenient, not frustrating. It was just more inconvenient than anything, having to unplug and move and unplug and move and then have the app um, on a doom you know, loop of loading and not showing any updates of if my nodes were connected or not. But overall, not the hardest router that I've had to set up, but definitely not the easiest. I was expecting it to be very easy and similar to the Google Nest, um, but it definitely was not the same experience. But I'm looking forward to testing its performance and I'm hoping that it will prove me wrong in terms of connectivity and internet speeds. So thanks guys.